NPC deputies from Taiwan have attached great importance to the peaceful development of cross-strait relations. They held group discussion that was open to the media. The most hotly discussed issue concerning the people of both mainland and Taiwan is how will cross-strait relations develop after Tsai Ing-wen, candidate for the Democratic Progressive Party, won Taiwan's leadership election earlier this year. A common narrative has been that her election will lead to greater tension. But NPC deputies from Taiwan believe what will happen next is unpredictable, but relations shouldn't deteriorate. After the election, many ask will the people from the two sides go further and further away. Perhaps some may think so. But from my perspective, it's not the case. What the ordinary people on both sides want? They want peace and stability. They want decent jobs and a steady income. I wish the Democratic Progressive Party and its leadership will express goodwill and also accept the mainland's goodwill. The mainland has reiterated that policy towards Taiwan is clear and consistent, and it will not change because there is a change in the island's political situation. During a panel discussion with Shanghai lawmakers, the General Secretary of China's Communist Party, Xi Jinping, said the mainland continues to adhere to the 1992 consensus and is opposed to any attempt in any form for Taiwan independence. Taiwan compatriots have gained real benefits from the development of cross-strait ties. The Made in China 2025 strategy, the Belt and Road Initiative, all these have provided opportunities for young people from Taiwan to seek a good job on the mainland. Deputies said whatever the political differences across the Taiwan Strait, it should not stand in the way of cooperation, as there is only one China to which both sides belong. And that's the basic foundation for peaceful development of the cross-strait relations, and it could draw people on both sides together. Su Yuting, CCTV, Beijing.